welcome to The Pitch, India's biggest business reality show. I'm Rahul Bose. Every other person dreams of starting a business. But business is not for everyone. We found 10 entrepreneurs who just might make the cut on this show. But the question is, who will win 5 crore rupees and realize their dreams? Now, last week, our contestants battled it out at the audition round. And finally, we have 10 contestants who have made it to this episode. They've been chosen on the strength, the originality, and the creativity, both of their pitch and their ideas. However, all 10 finalists are bound by one goal, which is to win that top prize of 5 crore rupees. Before all of that, let's welcome our 10 finalists by giving them their own The Pitch Badge. Tony M. John. Congratulations, Tony. Thank I remember you. your pitch well. It was about the leather shoes, wasn't it? That's right. Okay, listen. Here's your badge for the pitch. Hold it very, very close to your heart, both metaphorically and literally, and I'll explain to you why once I give it to all the contestants. All right. Good luck. Jay Surjit Singh, Rajiv Pathak, Shankar Sharma, Sriram Ayer, Aparna Bhatnagar, Shravani, Jennifer, Priyanka, and finally, Linad Deshmukh. Congratulations, Nath. All the very best. First up, ladies and gentlemen, heartiest congratulations. Wonderful that you've made it to the top ten. Now, let me explain, when I was handing you the pitch badge, why I said, Tony, guard it close to your heart. It's very precious. The reason is, there's no real magic in that badge. But that badge, as long as you keep it on your chest, signifies that you're still in the race for the five crore top prize. The moment you get pitched out or eliminated, the badge is taken off of you. So as long as you have that badge, the dream is still alive. So these are our 10 wonderful finalists. And while they're feeling good and feeling self-congratulatory, I don't think they should be resting on their laurels because from now on, each episode is going to throw up a tougher and very different task from the previous. In this time's episode, their ideas are going to have to face the X-ray of the dreaded SWOT analysis. Yep, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats of each idea will be examined. So will these ideas actually pass this critical evaluation or will they just vaporize like so many dreams do? We'll have to see. Aside from this SWOT analysis, there are going to be two surprise twists that await our contestants in this episode. But I am getting ahead of myself. First, let's go and have a look and see what's brewing in our contestants' minds. When Rahul gave us the SWOT analysis, it threw me a little bit off guard because I've never actually sat down and done a thorough SWOT analysis on my company. I'm aware of the strength, the weaknesses, the opportunities and the threats. We had not done SWOT analysis for our business as part of this program, that is true. Uh, but it doesn't take a while if, uh, if you understand your business. Every week, our contestants will be put through a grueling session conducted by a top business leader. This leader will also be the judge who will judge one contestant out at the end of each episode. This week, we have the massive pleasure of welcoming a gentleman who started his career running a single television show and today runs a colossal media empire. Voted as one of the most powerful men by Time magazine, Ronnie Screwala, the founder of UTV, incorporated his company in the year 1990 with verticals in film production and distribution, gaming, new media, television and broadcasting. By collaborating with the Walt Disney Group and by posting a net profit of 1.35 billion rupees in the year 2010-2011, Ronnie has made UTV a true global organization. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the CEO and founder of the UTV Group, Mr. Ronnie Skruwala. Hi, how are you? Nice to be on the show. These are our 10 finalists. I know that they're very anxious. They want to ask you many questions about your journey, about your rise, your spectacular success, etc., etc. But I also will tell you that they're dying to make their pitch. Uh, each of them will um, have a finite time to make a pitch. 
and try and impress you and hope that you don't eliminate one of them. But all of that will happen after a short break. When you're taking the road uh, to being an entrepreneur, I think you need to have instilled in yourself the risk-taking ability in the first place. You shouldn't be keeping up at night, otherwise you have a problem in the first place. So, so you sleep well, Ronnie? I sleep well. Huh? I, I sleep well. Thank God. No, I do sleep well, yeah. Super. And now for the Samsung Galaxy Tab 750 contest. What is the weight of the Samsung Galaxy Tab 750? A. 450 grams. B. 595 grams. C. 620 grams. SMS your answers and type pitch space question number space A, B or C at 5995 or email your answers to the pitch at BloombergUTV.com. One lucky winner gets to win a Samsung Galaxy Tab 750 every week.